Okay. I'll be here. TP, forget about giving orders. I'm not going anywhere tonight. See you around then. Like pineapple night. I don't think you got much choice, mate. You don't get something for nothing. This place is doing all right. I've got a wife and I've got kids on the way. Don't go getting soft on me, Kennedy. We've got a business to run. Stuff you. Who the hell's that? Oh, it's no one that walked on home. Somebody's been bloody listening. Who's there? I'm warning you. Show your face or I'll... Hey, 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 easy, Dan. It's only me, Dicklin. Stuart. It's OK, it's just one of the waiters. Um, I was just turning up the napkins. So why were you hiding? Um, I wasn't. I must have fallen asleep. Then I heard your voice and I didn't know where it was. Dicklin, old son, you shouldn't work your staff so hard. It was my idea. Loyalty. I like that. Here you go. That's for the overtime. Go on, kid, nick off. Before old Scrooge here finds something else for you to do. You look so beautiful, I was afraid you'd disappear, leaving only a glass slipper. I did feel a bit like Cinderella, especially in this dress. It's a lovely frock, but you would have looked good in anything. Now, you sure it wasn't too boring? No, it was fantastic. Even those tedious society dames? They were nice. And you didn't mind being stuck with tedious or me for the evening? You were the best bit. Would you like coffee or something? No, just you. Kirsty, it must be pretty obvious by now that I like you a lot. And I like you. You haven't had much luck with um, guys in the past, have you? Is it that obvious? I'm fishing. I feel there's a part of you that's holding back. So what is it you're afraid of? Rejection, being used, getting dumped? All of the above. I promise I will never, ever do anything to harm you. I know you won't. No matter what happens, I will always be straight and honest with you. Okay? Okay. So do you want to stay with me tonight or what? What are you doing up so late? Oh, you're still alive. How nice. How was your antenna class? Huh? I tried to ring you. It's but okay. You... Steve partnered me. Huh? It's a bit embarrassing, but uh, better than no one. Yeah, well, you know, something important came up at work and I, I couldn't get away. Like I said, I tried to ring. What was so important? Oh, just business. More important than our babies. Oh, is that it? They're not important because they're my babies, because you're not the father. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, I'm being ridiculous. Hey, just calm down, will you? The last thing we need now is for you to work yourself up into a state. Carrie, I, lo I love you. And I care about those kids as much as if they were my own. OK. Then tell me what was so urgent that it couldn't wait. Well, it's business. Why don't you just admit it? You copped out because you don't want to be involved in having these children. You just can't face it. That's not true. Oh, yeah? Well, what is? You tell me. days. Oh, didn't I see you and Jenny having dinner last night? Full marks for observation. Yeah, well, I just assumed that seeing you were leaving, you wanted to clear the air about. Uh... Yeah, well, we got things sorted out. Oh, great. What do you say we both go out and have dinner and try and talk this through? Meredith. 
Sorry, am I, am I interrupting something? No, 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 it's not important. Um, Rachel McKenna, I was wondering if, um, oh, you know, you... Don't worry about it. Well, normally I wouldn't, but my job prospects I'll deal with bit... it. I'm going to stay for a bit longer. Ah, good. Don't worry about it, Leonard. Your job's safe. Is it? Maybe in the short term. But... Look, talk to Michael. Yes, I know I will. But he seems to value Dr Warner's opinion. Oh, it's Chris being a pain again. Ignore him. He's jealous. Of me? Oh. Why not? If you came knocking at my door again, Dr Dodds, I don't think I'd let you get away quite so easily. <laughs> don't mind me. At least carry on your affairs out of work hours, please. Dork. Meredith, were you and uh, Chris ever close? No. Just, he does seem to be very aware of you. Wrong. Totally and absolutely wrong. Chris Warner is a sleazy, egotistical, Dr. arrogant... Dr. Triage, Dr. Triage, please. Sorry. Excuse me. Chris Warner. It was amazing. So, did he love the dress? Yeah, but he said that I'd look beautiful in anything. Or nothing. <laughs> so did you, uh, you know. Gina, I always tell you. And the best. Oh, Kirsty, I'm so glad. You know, I was very afraid that Leonard was the last truly fantabulistic single man left on earth and that you would have to be a maiden aunt to all my children. But now he's rich, he's handsome, he takes to all these swish places. He wants me to go to Sydney. Uh, for a holiday? Just for a weekend. <laughs> oh, are you gonna go? I can't afford it. But he can. Uh-uh. I want to keep my independence. Take the trip. Oh, I can't. I'd feel funny. What, like a kept woman? Yeah. Kirsty, take the trip. Can you contact Mrs Holden's sister and tell her that we've got Anita and Kyle here with us? Why? What's happened? Oh, her loopy husband's trying to burn their place down. Bad, eh? Hi. You still look skinny. Thanks. So how come you're still in? Because it's a neat way to get off school. Hey, I'm sorry about the other night. Emma using you to get back with that Nork Angus. No worries. Freed me up for all the other babes that want to get into my pants. Excuse me while I vomit. I'm only kidding. I was a good little girl and ate up all my breakfast. Except for that little bit of toast. And how do you feel? Great. But full though, you know. Just... What a tryhard. She's okay. Stupid though. I think I'm sick when I'm not, but I can fool them. Yeah, right. Hey, listen, I'd better get to school. Um, anything you want? Nah, Mum will probably come in later with heaps of stuff. It's brilliant, she's so guilty. You could do me a favour, though. What? Dump this. Oh, gross! I know, it's what they tried to feed me for breakfast. I thought you said you were better. I am, I just didn't want it. Now you're going to dump it or not? It's okay, Carl. Mummy's here. I'm right here, Carl. You'd be a brave boy for the doctor. <laughs> Can you take another big breath for me, Kyle? Okay. Broken glass in the hand. So I look here. It hurts. Yes, yes, I know that. The sooner we find out what's wrong, the sooner we can get you fixed up. Looks to me like you're going to have some pretty neat stitches. That'll be cool, eh? My friend Greg had 12 stitches in his leg. Could I have more? We'll see what we can do. You tell me if you feel this. Yeah. Yep. And what about this? I'm not sure. Oh, well, that's OK. Tell me if you feel something here. That. Yes, good boy, good boy. You've been very brave. Chris, excuse me. I was wondering if you could give me some advice here. Yeah, sure. Couldn't you finish here? Yeah? You've been in the wars, eh? Uh, sensation and movement in the right hand suggest that one cut has partially severed a nerve and completely severed the tendon. I think surgery is indicated. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll get Michael and I'll assist unless uh, there's an anaesthetic risk. No, no, his lungs seem quite clear, unless you'd like to have a listen. No, I'll take your word for it. So, Kyle, how many stitches did you say you wanted? Thirteen. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, Kennedy, haven't you got a job to go to? <laughs> Comfy couch. Your fault. Carrie, look, I'm really sorry about what happened last night. Me too. Oh, I'll tell Ginny on you. What? Dumping your lunch, young Grant. It's not my lunch, it's Rachel's breakfast. Sorry? No ball. She keeps dumping her food in plastic bags and pretending to eat it. We're talking about a major sicko here. Have you told anyone? Coffee thing? No, not yet. You know, the more I think about girls, the more I realise they're aliens from the planet Bazaar. Maybe it's just you. I'm not the one sitting in a hospital bed because I can't be bothered eating. <laughs> Gone in to see her? No, I haven't yet. She keeps going on about how she's not really sick and how she's fooling everyone in there like it's such a big game. Yeah, how's your girlfriend? Which one? Olivia, the one with the books. Oh, we split up. She's, you know, strange. Yeah, she's pretty intelligent, she's good looking. And she likes you, she must be pretty strange. Funny. Haven't seen her around, have you? No. Look, I'd better get back to school, don't want to be late for English. What, you worried about being late for school? There's more stuff on heaven and earth, Nielsen, than is dreamt of in your philosophy. He came over early this morning. I told him to stay away. I didn't want to see him. He threw one of his tantrums. I didn't think anything more of it. The older kids went off to school, but I let Carl stay home. He's taken the break up rather badly. Anyway, a bit later I smelt smoke. I thought one of the neighbours was burning off leaves. How could he do this to me? To his own son? He's not well. He's mad. They should never have let him out of prison. By the time I got to Carl's room, there was smoke and flames everywhere. I had to break a window to get out. That's why Carl's hands are so badly cut up. He tried to grab hold as I was lifting him through the window. Dr. McKenna is operating. He's very good. But Ray's still out there on the loose. Well, that is a matter for the police now. They're going to be wanting to talk to you. Talk? Yes, they're very good at that. Mrs. Holden, we still haven't been able to contact your sister. Is there anywhere else we could try? I don't know. What about the kids? They'll be home from school, so they won't know what happened. Okay, I'll, I'll phone the school, let them know what's happening. Do they have friends they can stay with? Good. And look, you just take it easy and try to relax. It's all under control. Everything except Ray. Uh, Michael, may, may I have a word? Sure. Oh, it's about Rachel. Meredith's agreed to stay on a bit longer, at least until a replacement can be found. Actually, it's about my contract. It's nearly up, and I was just wanting to... Ah, <laughs> sorry. Completely slipped my mind. Yes, well, if you could yes just... I should have told you sooner so that you could make plans. I see. If you could tell me the finishing date. You want to leave as well? well I assume that that's what But you Jenny's want. already drawn up the contract. It's on my desk. Really? Oh, that's wonderful news. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So you'll stay? Yes, yes. Glad to hear it. Excuse me. Leonard. You all right? Yes. Yeah, I thought you'd like to know. Uh, Kyle Holden's operation went without a hitch. He should regain full function of the hand. Good. Good. Yeah, you sure you're all right? I've been offered another contract. Oh, that's great. No, no, I mean it. I, uh, I'm sorry about giving you a hard time. Uh, that was pretty immature, but you know what it's like, huh? Two stallions in the same paddock? I understand. I can assure you that there's nothing going on between Meredith and myself. Well, what's Meredith got to do with it? I know you'll miss her. We all will. I won't. I'll be glad to see the back of her. She's a neurotic pain in the butt. Fleming. Mr. Kennedy. Ah, Stuart. Go. Oh, I've made up your pay. Just let me finish up here, all right? Oh, no hurry. Oh, I hope you didn't give you too much of a fright last night. Yeah, I heard you arguing with that guy. Eh? Yeah? What did you hear? Nothing, but it sounded pretty heavy. <laughs> Dan's an old mate of mine. Well, normally he's fine, but when he's had a few, he likes to put on a bit of a show. I noticed. Yeah. He tips well enough. Yeah. 
Are you sure you're not in some kind of trouble? No, no, no problems. I'll go and get your pay. Oh, it's you. Lucky, eh? Uh, Meredith, um, I want to apologise for my juvenile behaviour. It was way out of line. No, no, I'm serious. I, I guess I felt put out. I reacted badly and I'm sorry. Um, shouldn't you be telling us to Leonard? I did. Oh, full of surprises, aren't you, Warner? <laughs> One of my many charms. Surprise number two, uh, dinner tonight. Last chance to say uh, bon voyage and all that. Surprise number three, I'm staying a bit longer. Oh, well, then we can celebrate your staying. Yeah, but only for a few days. And I'm busy tonight, OK? In other words, you're still mad at me. I'm not. But what do you want, self-flagellation? I don't want anything from you. I'm busy tonight, OK? Fine. Good. Go on, have a chocolate. Mum brought them in. Maybe later. Um, is it OK to visit? I'll leave you to it. How you doing? I, um, sorry to hear about you being sick. I'm not sick. You're right. Why are you here, Stuart? I thought you'd given up all that Good Samaritan nonsense. Hey, just because we're broken up doesn't mean we can't be friends. You don't want to be friends, you just feel sorry That's for me. That's not true. You don't like me. I do. You think I am boring. Believe me, Rachel, you're not boring, all right? Right, I'm not boring, just a total bitch. I didn't say that. It's what you meant. You think I'm a horrible person. Look, it doesn't matter what I think, all right? I mean, I could tell you a thousand times that you're fantastic, but it wouldn't make any difference. It's what you think about yourself. Right, now you're my shrink. Look, you're rude. Can you play stupid games or can you throw tantrums if you can't get your own way? It's all a big front because deep down you hate yourself. You can't stay in your own company, so you're taking it out on everyone else. That's not true, it's not. These are the only files I haven't found a home for yet. Well, leave them with me. So, how did your antenatal class go last night? I think Steve got more out of it than I did. What was Steve doing there? Well, my loving husband had some kind of business deal going. Thought it was more important than the class. My God, what sort of monster would put their work before anything else? Yeah, OK, OK. I admit it, we're both on a learning curve. Mm. Aren't we all? Well, you're looking very pleased with yourself. Mm. I've made a positive career choice, moving's under control, and there are no loose ends to tie up. Uh, Meredith, could I have a word? Um, not now. Karen and I are busy. Oh, sorry. Um, later? Sure. What exactly are we busy with? Uh, oh, these files. <laughs> All right. Mind if I sit here? It's a free country. Enjoying middle match? Mm, could do with a bit more action. Some buggy races or something. So how have you been? Okay. You? Just surviving. Still hanging out with the cool brigade? Nah, style junkies. Boring. Look, Olivia, I was wondering. Yes? You want to come to the library with me later? I'd love to. Yeah. Pumpkin. Love squirrel. Please forgive me. I'll never interfere in your career ever again. I don't care if you are banished to the ends of the earth or even Timaru. I'll sell the coffee shop. You don't have to. I want to. Dr. McKenna is extending my contract. Oh, thank you, God. I'll give up all those things I promised. Mm. <laughs> oh. Dozzle back, so just take a seat. Kirsty, has anybody been notified about those lifts? Yeah, they were sending someone out yesterday. Yeah, well, ring them again. <sighs> What's this, the ad for the new director of nursing? Yeah, is it all right? Yeah, it's fine. I'll be in with Rachel if anybody wants me. Kirsty, fax this through when you've got a minute. When I've got a minute. How's your day? Don't ask. Well, this should cheer you up. 
Rent, food and electricity. Oh, no, the temptation. I could use this to go to Sydney. Why? Shane's asked me to go there for the weekend. I said I couldn't afford it, but now. Yeah, well, don't even think about it. Good afternoon, Shorten Street. Marge, how's it going? Busy, but it's all under control. Uh, Stuart's here, do you want to speak to him? Oh, Meredith. Hello, Mum. We meet again. Hmm. Which floor? Uh, where are you going? The lab. That'll do. Oh, what? Oh, great. Please, God! Don't let me be stuck in a lift with Meredith Fleming. Not again! Ha uh ha, -huh, very amusing. Last time we were stuck in here for hours. And wasn't it fun? Hey, careful, you'll break something. Well, look on the bright side. At least now we can have our little talk. What little talk? The one we really need to have. About what? Unfinished business, about why you've been avoiding me. I haven't. I, I've just been busy. Oh, OK, lie if you like. You're not busy now. I'm really going to miss you, Meredith. Yeah, I'm going to miss you too. Well, hey, don't push that button. Unless you really want to get out of here. All the time that we have wasted arguing and bickering, and it's completely obvious why. You are the only person who has ever really got under my skin, Meredith. I hate the thought of you leaving. I can't stop thinking about it. Chris... Well, can't we just... spend some time together? And then when you go... well, at least we tried. See more of New Zealand on air.